what's up you guys welcome back to another video another vlog today i'm starting the vlog on a friday so i'm gonna be showing you what i'm up to this weekend there's actually a lot happening right now if you can't already tell Ah! <sighs> uh, i mentioned in vlogs before that we're doing a little bit of renovation around the house we're repainting the kitchen cabinets redoing the floors changing out the front door repainting the house and yeah just like other paint jobs around the house so it's been a lot all this week i haven't vlogged because i've just been helping around the house i haven't even been able to stay in my room really been back and forth from this house to my sister's house i've been sleeping over at my sister's pretty much every night this week all the actual labor and construction and whatever should be done by today or tomorrow so once everything's done and people are done working in our house we can start moving all of our furniture back that is why my room looks like this right now i literally just did my whole bedroom makeup over video so if you haven't seen that yet go check it out but now it's nice because i know where everything's gonna go back to and it'll be like a pretty easy process i'm sure but i'm excited to show you guys what everything looks like i'll give you a sneak peek though these are our new floors we used to have a dark brown hardwood floor and now it's this really nice light gray and so it just makes the whole house look so bright my mom and my dad they're both big fans of like the very bright white sort of like farmhouse cottage inspired I, I don't even know all of this is going to be my big project for later today and the floors wow it looks so nice this is what the cabinets look like now they used to be a olive greenish color but they took them off and then repainted everything yeah that's what this is looking like it's all a work in progress fun fact here is that my dad actually grew up in this house this was his childhood home by the time i was born we moved back into this house and ever since have kind of just been doing little remodel projects here and there this house has definitely been through a lot and the looks have changed tremendously over the years definitely the most excited about this remodel because i see the vision coming together coming to life and i'm loving it while i'm home and while the workers are working outside i've been just chilling in my parents room so let's go hang out with them <gasps> wait oh wait what elvis come oh i haven't told them yet oh should i tell you guys <sighs> i haven't vlogged in like a week so when i say there's been a lot happening I do mean a lot, and more than just the house stuff, we do have another little surprise. Hi, Mushu. Okay, guys, I want you to meet our new little friend. Say hi. Surprise, we got a new puppy. <laughs> We have a new little friend here. Oh, <laughs> you want to say hi to the vlog? Oh, everyone's going to be so happy to meet you. I don't know if we've decided on a name for him, but I think we're leaning towards Mushu. I think that is so cute and fitting for you, don't you think? He's only seven weeks old and we've had him for like three days now. Okay, pause. We found out that Mushu, who we thought was a boy, is actually a girl. My grandma renamed him, or sorry, renamed her, so her name is now Beats, as in like BTS, Beats, I don't know. My mom told me this information, but yeah, to our defense, we've never owned a girl dog, and I was, we were all questioning that region because it did not look like a boy. We were told that this puppy was a boy, so we just went with it, we figured out, oh, maybe not so developed yet. But yeah, she's a girl, and her name is now Beats. Anyways, keep on watching. You've been napping all day, sir. I think Mushu likes me. Oh, you're so cute. You guys might be freaking out because I certainly freaked out when my parents sent me a video via the family group chat. This puppy's actually my grandma's and she doesn't know yet. We wanted to surprise her, but she's definitely been talking a lot about wanting to get a dog. So yeah, we found her little furry companion. We think Mushu's gonna be perfect fit for her. I'm not sure when we're gonna surprise my husband, but soon we just wanted to keep him here for a couple days getting situated just make sure we have all the things ready for her you know his cage his food all that good stuff you are so freaking cute holy crap if you guys are wondering he's a little multi poo so he doesn't shed um he's very very small basically the size of my foot and i don't know how much bigger he's gonna get but yeah overall he's been super playful he sleeps well he goes out to potty 
when we bring him outside. So we already have a dog at our house. His name is Elvis. If you don't already know, then you must be new. But yeah, Elvis has kind of just been doing his own thing. He's like 13 years old now, so he's a bit older. He hasn't really paid much attention to the little pupper. But yeah, I understand. Elvis is just doing his own thing. Mushu tries to play with him sometimes, but Elvis just... He isn't having it. So that has been another exciting, fun thing happening around the house. You want the toy? Update, hello. Okay, so I can't find my camera anywhere. I've been cleaning for some time, so you know, my room. I can finally start to see the nice brand new floor. Pretty sure my camera is under that mess, but I'm tapping that last, so phone vlog it is. Very, very exciting because I'm cleaning while streaming Outside Lands or Inside Lands. They're doing like reruns of previous year's sets and then also some of the DJs are gonna be performing live later on. So it just makes cleaning a lot more fun. Right now Griffin is on and he's killing it. I was in that crowd in 2018 and it was so much fun. My sister and I were having such a good time <sighs> and I wish we could be back there, but. Yeah, I'm wearing my ranger hat right now, just for shits and gigs. Oh. Okay, it's been lagging all day, but it's fine. I'll just keep y'all here for now. Hopefully my camera shows up somewhere. The last time I vlogged, I was showing you guys the puppy, but honestly could not tell you anymore. I found you guys, hello. Yes, you were under the pile of clothes on my bed. Sorry if I'm looking a little flushed, a little red. I am currently, I have my live stream going, cleaning. So I actually went on like a little cleanse, I guess you could say. So I didn't drink for maybe two, two and a half weeks. I know some of my viewers out there are a little bit younger, but like as a young adult, I feel like Drinking is just such a casual thing to do. For a lot of people, college comes with drinking and with quarantine comes a lot of drinking. So yeah, I just decided that I wanted to do a little cleanse and just not partake in those activities. And especially because I was doing my half marathon about a week ago, I just wanted to prepare and just like flush my body out. But yeah, it's just a glass of wine. Very chill Friday night here in the household. That's the update. It's like, oh my God, wait, my Fitbit has been dead all day has been tracking my steps. All right, and here's the update on the room. I finished cleaning. Elvis is here with me. He's gonna sleep with me tonight. Hi, Elvis. Good morning. It is Saturday and I honestly woke up probably three or four times and did not feel very good. Probably because of wine. But I slept it off and I ended up getting out of bed at like 11, which is really, really late for me. I'm feeling fine now. We're gonna take Elvis here for a quick walk. And then afterwards, I'm gonna go get some pho to take out and bring home and eat here in my warm room. I feel like that would be really nice for my recovery this morning. I'm fine, everything's fine. I just, even if I wasn't feeling very hungover this morning, pho would be perfect for today because it is just a soupy kind of weather. Very, very dreary out. Dun, dun, dun. Ta da! Just got back home from our nice long walk. And I killed two birds with one stone, so I ended up walking to a pho place. And so here we have my meal. It's the classic. Pho Thai, Pho Thai, am I saying that right? And then some imperial rolls, which is basically just like a fried egg roll. Here, Mushu, let's go. Time for a shower, your first shower. Oh, you look so scared. Ready? Right in the sink. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm starting to smell a little stinky. Elvis, you're too big for the sink. <laughs> He's like, what's going on? Currently tuning in to day two of Inside Lands and Elton John is performing! Love him, love that man. He is so full of life. I was there that year, but I don't think I saw this performance live or not the whole thing at least. That's such a shame. Oh, it's okay. I get to watch it now. Good morning. Happy Sunday. This is my sleeping situation last night because I had to wash my duvet cover. Moshu, our new puppy, or my grandma's new puppy, um, I brought him onto my bed and then he had a little bone and he was chewing it. 
I kind of took a nap and fell asleep while he was going at it and it just made a huge mess. So I just had to sleep with these fleece blankets last night. It was a little bit chilly, but it's okay. My laundry should be done though. So I'm gonna make my bed and get my morning started. Just kidding, it's still damp. So I have to go run it in the dryer again. <laughs> It feels really weird. I'm using a normal toothbrush. Oh, I use my Sonicare, but I left it at my sister's house. So, manual labor here. up my morning skincare right now but really quickly I want to talk about this new product actually wait two new products hold on boom guys if you've not heard of these let me tell you so I've been using the true cream aqua bomb from belief for a couple weeks now and I am in love with it I've been in need of a new moisturizer to use in the morning and night so I use this twice a day like the name says aqua bomb it really is like a water bomb for your face because I feel so hydrated afterwards I store it in my little skincare fridge and so it just is so refreshing to put on every morning it wakes me up my skin literally drinks that product and I'm left with glowy skin that Honestly, a little bit goes a long way. That was kind of a lot. I just dot that on my face and then I start rubbing it in. Just pretend like I'm in a spa, getting a facial. My mom has always taught me to be gentle with your skin, especially when applying products. Because sometimes I just go into town and just start rubbing it in my face. But tap that in and it smells so good. It just smells so fresh. And this is what I'm left with. After this, I just apply some sort of SPF and I'm good to go. I feel like my skin right now is doing very, very well. I don't really have any active breakouts, which I'm so thankful for. Obviously, I have a history of acne and I have acne prone skin, but it's not that time of the month for me right now and I'm not too, too stressed. So this has honestly been like the highlight of my skincare routine. So I would definitely recommend trying it out. You can find it at Sephora, at Ulta, and Amazon. And then also, Belief has a new Aqua Bomb makeup removing cleansing balm. With quarantine, I haven't been getting ready and putting on full face of makeup much, which has been nice. It's giving my skin some time to breathe. But on the rare occasion where I do need to take off my makeup, I've been using this. It does a really good job of removing the makeup and all those sort of impurities while also moisturizing and nourishing your skin at the same time. So it's a win-win. Kind of just get some of that and you just rub that on your face. It's gonna get a little crazy. You're gonna look like a raccoon for a cool second, but once you rinse it off, you'll feel fresher than ever. Definitely recommend. Thank you to Belief for partnering with me on this video. I'll leave a link down below in case you guys wanna shop and try these products out for yourself. Also, can we take a moment to appreciate how cute this headband is? I've been wearing it literally every day when I wash my face, when I do my face masks. It's nice not having to put my bun in. Uh, it's nice not having to put my hair in a bun or a ponytail every time I want to wash my face, whatever. Hashtag no filter. I'm attempting to make a matcha latte right now in my milk frother, and I'm using this Oatly oat milk and then this matcha powder from Perfect Keto. Not sure if I should have just put the milk in and put the matcha in after, or if it's okay to just throw it all in there, but seems to be mixing. I added a little bit more milk and I'm gonna make the like topping, I guess, like a cream topping. We're gonna be fancy and garnish it a little bit with some extra. Look at that shot. Dang, I did that. I've just been editing for a couple hours now. Editing vlog that you're watching. Mm -hmm. My parents and I were gonna go get lunch in just a bit, but we're driving out to Concord, which is like an hour or so away from here. We're getting sushi. And I'm so excited because I haven't had sushi in a while. But yeah, I'm just been working, sipping on my matcha. That's cold now. <laughs> I threw on a little outfit for when we go out to lunch later. I feel like this is just a nice summer to fall transition outfit. 
and I haven't put on a real outfit in who knows how long. So this is exciting for me. A little sweater dress and a denim jacket, both from Princess Polly. So happy. I know. Okay, hello. The lighting is weird. We're at a little sushi spot called Makuni. Got some sake. I chose a terrible day to wear a sweater dress because it is like 80 degrees out. and we came over to this place. It's like right in the same plaza. New spot, it doesn't even have like a sign yet, but it's called Devils and Angels, I believe. And they do all this crazy ice cream. Like look at that. A bunch of different flavors and a bunch of different cones. You can get it in the little fish thing or a normal cone or a cup. They've got boba ice cream. So if you guys are in Concord, definitely check it out. They opened like two days ago, I think. And it's been pretty busy around here, so. Highly recommend. Today is a day for getting my grandma her puppy. I was about to leave the house for a workout and then my grandma showed up unexpectedly. I was expecting her later this afternoon, um, but I decided to push my workout back so I can film her reaction. Mushu, you're gonna have a new home. Are you ready? Mmm, yum, breakfast. Look who's home. Hi, Moni's here. Do, 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 Uh oh. Hey, Mr. Bunny. 